Hi guys, I purchased this uh, Ecobee 3 light thermostat and I am replacing this old one. And guess what? I have this one already upstairs installed and that is working fine. I was quite confident that you know this should work too. But you know when you replace it with the other one, you put it here, it doesn't work. It was installed, all the wires were done, but this was still not coming up on. It was not powering itself on. So it's not like it's, I'm getting anything. I was not getting, I was not getting anything at all. So long story short, I started troubleshooting. And uh, as you can see, the base plate is already installed. This requires, you know, all these wires, especially this C wire. Uh, the C wire was attached to the old one as well, but it was not used because it was not installed downstairs. It was not installed downstairs in the basement where the furnace is. So anyways, I put this these things in as they are supposed to be. It's pretty easy. Red one goes to RC, green goes to green, yellow goes to Y1, yellow one, and this common goes to C, C wire and this white goes to W1. This is how it is attached. But everything attached, I put this C wire also downstairs in the furnace that did not work. Hmm. So what the problem is? I did many things to reach to this point. Uh, it took me some time before I may conclude that what the problem is. Um, so let me take you downstairs and show you what I did. So let's come downstairs. It's already open. So I have HC311. This is the Honeywell control panel for this thing. First, what I did, okay, the problem I'm having was with zone one, and this one is upstairs. This is working fine. Same it could be light three, no problems at all. Uh, I put a new one upstairs and that's working over there. So meaning there's no problem with the IKB and there's no problem with the zone two, zone one. Before I did that, I even swapped these, like I put zone three wires, zone two wires to zone one, zone one to zone two, and the uh, problem was still with zone one wires. So long story short, once again, what I did, and I'm gonna show you how to figure out because this C wire is very important for ECOB3. If this wire does not bring the power to that guy, then it's not gonna work. So in order to troubleshoot, what we need to do, we can short these wires here. So let me show you uh, some other wire. Let's say green and white. This is green. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to do it with my one hand, other hand is busy with the camera. Let me try to hold it. Okay, now, as you can see, um, okay, here, you can see I shorted out basically green and white wire. So you can short it because it's not plugged in here. Okay, this is still powered on, but you know, we are outside that. So, white and green okay this is short let's see what's the result upstairs when we short these two wires so we should get a short or a continuity you know on these two wires let's check it out this is the multimeter so you need to move it to ohms you can turn on the beep as well if you want to. I did not. So let me connect green and white. So this is my, sorry, here. This is my white. Where's my green, green, green? Where's the other lead? Here. I have this jumper so it's a little easier. So this is green. see white and green and this is giving us a shot 
0.8 ohms or so so meaning basically this is short now let me connect actually let's keep them this way let's go downstairs and Now short. Oops, just going all the way back. Let me bring it here. Now let's short, for example. Let me put the phone down for a minute. I'm gonna connect this blue and white. That is fine. Okay. Sorry, camera is going all over so now you can see the blue wire or the common wire or the c wire is shorted to the white one so we should get a shot again upstairs let's go check it out remember white and blue or c wire all right so let's move this white and see and let's see <laughs> white and see okay white and blue wire white and common wire whatever you wanna call it C wire and white wire here you see it's open so this is a problem my blue wire is broken somewhere now that's another project how to uh, how to fix that maybe i need to i need to ask somebody to you know get a whole new wire uh, how to go through this if you guys know how to take this wire out and how to install a new wire please let me know i still need to figure that thing out but the problem is that this wire is not bringing any voltage because this is broken and if this wire is not working it could be it's not working if you guys know how to make it work without this c-wire um, uh, please let me know that as well uh, i would like to do that but for now this c-wire is broken and that's why it's not working that was my troubleshooting thanks guys all right so this is a part two in my previous video i explained how to troubleshoot about the c-wire and i figured it out this was the broken wire uh, the next step was to you know trace back to see if i can replace it so i tried to actually i started tracing it back so you can see this wire goes up here behind that behind that behind that and after all that i figured it out it is right here and guess what this wire is cut and it's not connected so i can see one part of the c wire or the blue wire is here and the other one other one is here so all i need to do is you know strip the wires and connect them using either one of these or anything else so that will be my next step in the next video i think i think i have something okay here it is let me show you okay this is where I can put both of these wires and it will be connected. You can use any type of connector, cap connector or this type of connector. There are many types of connectors available to connect two wires together. I'm going to do that and uh, I hope it will fix my problem. All right, so this is, you can call part three, where I think I fixed a problem. Okay, so I connected this zone two back in. As you can see red wire to R, this blue wire or common wire to C or C wire, then white to W, yellow to Y, and green to green. So wires are connected. It's not difficult to connect. You just need to push them a little bit hard. Once you align it here with the hole, you can put this thing in. By the way, there are two holes for every terminal, so you can put in any one of those. So this one has two, this one has two, this one, all of them. So this is in, this is in, this is in, and damper is already in. 
damper goes to M1 and M6. Same for here, other zone, M1 and M6. So wires are connected. So let me show you what I did to fix this C wire problem. As I told you in the previous version, actually, let me turn on the light. Uh, here you go. This is my flashlight now. Okay, it's clear. As you can see, these two, these two blue wires or the C wires, they were not connected to each other. I put them using this kind of connector. You can use that kind of connector or any kind of connector. While I was here, I tried to vacuum some of the net spider webs here so they're not they're never clean but you know do whatever you can i did mostly on the other side so anyway this is connected once you're done with this let's see what may be our next step i think i mean i can put this cover back on uh, that i can do later but for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go upstairs and uh, put the EKB3 in the system, in its place and see if it works. I hope it will work. Otherwise it will be wastage of my time again, <laughs> making this video. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. I'm excited, I think it will work. All right, upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. We are upstairs here, let me put this camera right here this is a big test i connected these wires already okay over here blue wire to c wire c connector which is c wire white to w1 red to rc uh, g green to green yellow to y1 by the way if you have some other type of wires here more than one red wire or uh, uh, you know some other wires then this is not valid for you and if c wire is missing then it's totally a different game ball so in my case in my case i had these wires so c wire is a must in order to connect to ikabi so let's see so this is my brand new ikabi three light as you can see sticker is still on Let's try to connect. Hey, you see that? It's coming up. It is working and that's exactly what I was expecting. Actually, I have set it up already, so I cannot show you how to set it up because um, I have another EKB upstairs. I took it upstairs for troubleshooting purposes. I plugged that one over there and it worked uh, because it worked. So I set it up over there already. So it should be all set. Let's see. It's coming up. All I need to do after all that is, you know, clean up. A lot of jumpers and cables out. Okay, it says calibrating. Okay, it did. Okay, good. Good. It's showing me 68 is right now and temperature is 71. It should be calling for heat. If I want to change the temperature setting, I can change it to, let's say, 70 or something, 68. By the way, I heard the heat blowing up. So 70 is good for now, it's 68. So it should be working. If you click here, you can change it to cool in summer and uh, you can turn it off if you want to. But I'm gonna leave it on heat. Everything else looks okay. I, I still need to program this, which I can do later about this. So I need to register it. I didn't register it yet. Once you register it, then it will tell you the temperature of your zone. Uh, you know, uh, what's the temperature outside, weather temperature. It's not that important. We all have it on our cell phones, but you know, anyways. So let's go downstairs just to make sure that zone one, this is zone one, is calling for heat. 
and that will be the end of the video. Downstairs again. Dum, 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 dum. see heat is on fan is running heat is either on or off so this LED always stays red no green for this fan is on or off either green or it's or no other color or it's off uh, zone 1 right now zone 1 is calling and that was upstairs and zone 2 is uh, you know even further upstairs where the bedrooms are and zone 3 as you can see it's not connected so I have only two zones so I'm glad it's working uh, this is HZ311 that's the Honeywell panel and this is perch LED just to let you know that um, whenever the heat is off if you turn the heat off for both zones uh, then it's gonna start purging the air in the ducts and uh, this is the purge override you can press it to override that it will not purge in that case but automatically you know it's gonna purge whenever it is off it is turned off so guys that's about it and uh, I hope it will help a uh, few of you because uh, I did not find any YouTube video whatsoever to figure out how to make sure what voltage to expect, what is coming here, what's not coming here, how to troubleshoot. I spent some time to figure it out. Bottom line once again, C wire was connected here, but it was not connected back there on the junction box. And once it's connected, everything is working. See you guys.